people our age, younger, older, see plastic as a one-use object and so being able to show them that in half an hour we can give them a talk, shred it down, make it into a new product and that it should be a closed loop circle of use, recycle, new product, use, recycle, new product instead of use it once, five seconds later it's in the bin not to be used again. A couple of years ago, Dave Hackens designed some machines to shred plastic and turn it into new valuable products. And so he put all this work up onto the web so anyone could download it. So it's all open source and we found it uh, with our academic supervisor and we've taken those machines and made them modular, more efficient, safer uh, and transportable. And no matter what your prior knowledge is, you can use those machines. It's hard to explain that to someone without showing them how easy it is. People think it's just huge manufacturing, it's too hard, we can't just do that. And this is a machine that we've kind of brought down to the level that anyone can use it and it's a super, super simple process. Why we went with this model of a compact integrated unit is because the original Dave Hackens version three of his workshop is a 40 foot long container and you can't drive that around the campus. So instead of going big, we went small. What we've tried to do is keep these machines as modular as possible and basically get a really reliable integration unit between all the machines for our first iteration. So that basically means keeping components at low cost, simple with designs, just to increase their reliability and actually allow us to be able to test with all these different machines and make sure that we can actually make products out of them. This is sort of part of our final year engineering project and I personally was having a bit of a hard time finding a project that I actually believed in and you know, had a passion for. One of my lecturers approached me about precious plastic and I just thought, yeah, what a great opportunity to sort of jump on board and actually try and engage with the community that recycling on a local level, it's definitely achievable. We see ourselves bringing this transportable integration unit to places like primary schools to get kids engaged with how we can recycle plastics and how they can make an impact on the world. The idea of this workshop would possibly be them bringing plastics for us to shred in front of them, seeing that transform straight into a valuable product that they can take home and understand the potential of actually reusing the waste that's left around the world. Essentially the idea here is to collaborate with all the different precious plastic branches around the world and help each other get the idea out there that plastic pollution is a big problem and it's not going to stop anytime soon so we would better start. So I decided to join Precious Plastic Monash after I spent time in a 3D print lab and what I saw was a heap of waste being produced. I thought Precious Plastic Monash would be a good opportunity for me to be able to fix the problem that we're facing in our labs. One of the unique things of being a university chapter of this global initiative means that we are supported by the university staff and facilities, meaning that we're able to create our machines, but also test different polymers and their compatibility with our machines. Actually recycling the plastic um, isn't what we're trying to tackle. We're focused on awareness. People aren't aware of how precious plastic is and how much more it's going to become in the future. 